With 556 making a bit of a comeback this wipe, I wanted to go over a couple builds I actually had made for the AK-101. I have two builds right now, one being a budget build and the other one being a meta build for you chad gamers out there. As always, I'm going to have timestamps in the description so you can skip to whichever build you want and enjoy the video. Getting into the cheaper of the two builds here, we have the budget 101. The base AK-101 comes in from Mechanic for 42,938 rubles and obviously that's before we mod it. Getting into the actual modding of the gun, we have the JMAC RRD 4C muzzle brake from Mechanic for 13,216 rubles which will give you a nice recoil reduction. The downside obviously is that it's not going to be suppressed but it's not the end of the world. Going into the actual handguard now, we have the CAA RS-47 handguard from Peacekeeper for 121 US dollars. Having that on allows us to put our foregrip on, which is the AFG foregrip from Peacekeeper for 75 US dollars again. And then lastly, we put on our tactical device. In my case, I put the X400 flashlight for 127 dollars from Peacekeeper. Now, as I say in all my builds, you can kind of put whatever you want on, whether it be a laser or a flashlight, it's kind of up to you. I typically go with flashlights, but again, that's up to you. And then going over to our dust cover, I chose the Bastion for 6,325 rubles from Skier, which allows you to put the site of your choice on. In my case, it is the hollow site, but again, you can put whatever you are comfortable with on and just you're good to go after that. And our last little attachment here is actually going to be at the back. It's going to be the AK GP25 recoil pad for 4,051 rubles from Prapper. And that is going to give you, again, a nice little recoil reduction, which we always love on our guns. And that's kind of it for the budget build. It's pretty quick to make and pretty simple. Your final price for the attachments is actually going to come down to 23,592 rubles and 323 US dollars. That is of course not including the site. So the price will go up depending on which site you decide to run with your gun. And obviously including in the base price of 42,938 rubles, we got a final price of 66,530 rubles and 323 US dollars, which isn't bad for a budget build. It's definitely worth giving it a try if you are down a bit on money or just having a bad day. Give this weapon a try and see how it goes for you. Getting into our final stats here, we have 57 ergonomics, which is honestly not that bad, and 49 vertical recoil, which is again, not that bad for the price you're paying. Before we go over to our meta build here, I actually tested this weapon out in some offline raids, so you can kind of see for yourself the recoil on this weapon in these clips right here. So for the big spenders here, getting into the meta version of the AK-101 on the screen right now, and let's just jump right into this build. So the base weapon is again going to be 42,938 rubles from Mechanic. And obviously that's not going to be different from the budget, but this is where it gets very, very different. The actual attachments. So getting into the actual attachments here at the front, we have the CNC Warrior Muzzle Adapter for 2,929 rubles from Mechanic, which gives us a nice variety of suppressors and whatnot we can put on our weapon. I went with the ASR 556 Flash Hider for 118 US dollars from Peacekeeper, which allows us to put on the Sakar ASR Suppressor for 704 US dollars from Peacekeeper, which is going to be your best option in terms of suppressors on this gun. If you wanted to shave the price of the build a little bit, you could use a different suppressor, but it will not give you as nice of a recoil reduction. And if you have the money, you might as well just buy the suppressor, to be honest. So with that out of the way, we can go over to the rest of the build. The rail I went with here is the Troy full length rail for 21,548 rubles from Mechanic. That allows us to put the rest of our attachments on, starting off with the Troy QARS 3.2 inch rail for 1,878 rubles from Mechanic, which allows us to attach our X400 flashlight on for 127 US dollars from Peacekeeper. And again, you can put whatever you want on, laser, flashlight, it's up to you. Go nuts. In terms of putting our foregrip on, we first have to put on the Troy QARS 4.2 inch rail for 2363 rubles from Mechanic. And then obviously that allows us to put our SE5 Express forward foregrip on 
for 15,237 rubles from Mechanic. And that's going to be your best option in terms of a meta foregrip here. In terms of the pistol grip for our ergonomics boost, we're going to want to put on the Custom Arms AGS 74 Pro Pistol Grip for 16,445 rubles from Skier. And obviously that's going to give us our nice ergonomics boost here. As we work our way to the back of the gun here, we first got the Zenit PT Lock for 3,120 rubles from Skier which will allow us to put on the PT3 Classica stock for 22,950 rubles from Skier again. Lastly, we got the Bastion for 6,325 rubles from Skier, which will allow us to put whatever site you want to use on. In my case, it is again the hollow site, but it's up to you what you're comfortable running on these guns. The final cost of this weapon for the attachments is actually going to come in at 92,795 rubles and 949 US dollars. That of course is again not counting the site, so the price will go up depending on which site you want to run. In terms of our final statistics here, we have 52 ergonomics and 39 vertical recoil, which is pretty close to the best you can get in terms of recoil. I believe the best you can get is 37 vertical recoil if you run the RK24 grip but that will tank your ergonomics. So there you go. And I guess the last thing we have to do in this video is actually test this weapon out in an offline raid. So here's some clips of me testing it out and you can check the recoil out for yourself and go nuts with this weapon guys.